The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is a primitive camper's paradise. The most visited national park in the United States, it has over 100 backcountry campsites spread throughout its 522,000 acres. While many of its campsites are accessible on foot, across the park's 800 miles of hiking trails, a handful of its sites are positioned on the park's southern border, Fontana Lake. Welcome to Backcountry Campsite 87, Jerry Hollow. Welcome to Green Ridge Outdoor Adventures. <music> The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is one of the most remote areas on the East Coast, which makes it an ideal place to backcountry camp. The first step in reserving one of these campsites is obtaining a backcountry permit at smokypermits.mps.gov. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click this button. The next screen outlines parking information, rules and regulations, and states that general backcountry permits are $8 per person per night. A permit can also be obtained in person at the Sugarlands Visitor Center near Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Next is the backcountry permit application, so choose the number in your party and your number of stock. You're then brought to a map of the park for you to select the campsite you wish to reserve. Upon selecting your campsite, a reservation calendar for that campsite is shown with every date available for the next month. Click on the date you want to reserve and then select the number of nights you want to camp. You'll then be asked to confirm your trip itinerary and then you'll be asked to enter your personal and payment information on the next couple screens. Once you've paid, a PDF of your backcountry permit will be emailed to you and you're asked to carry it with you at all times during your camping trip. On the permit campsite map, the sites in blue are the handful of backcountry campsites only accessible by boat. This is because a large portion of the park's southern border is Fontana Lake. Backcountry campsite 87 only allows for six campers. But as of June 2024, it has been closed due to fire damage. But when the campsite reopens, the information in the rest of this video will still be useful for future campers. The closest boat ramp to Site 87 is at the Fontana Village in Marina. Campsite 87, uh, it should be at the top of this hill, and it's been closed since November, I think, for a fire. And I do see a little bit of char at the bottom of the trees and some fallen trees there, but other than that, it looks like it's still pretty much intact. On our most recent trip to Fontana Lake, we stopped by Campsite 87 on our way to Backcountry Campsite 90 on Eagle Creek, and then spent three nights at Backcountry Campsite 81 on Mill Branch. To see the video of that trip, click on the link above. Fontana Lake's water level is drastically lower during the fall and winter. But in the spring and summer, the water level makes it for an easy transition to get on the island.
When we last visited this campsite, we accessed the island at its westernmost point. So this is the path down to campsite 87. You can still see some of the charred remains of the trees. There's the bear food cables. Still a really pretty sight. The view up here. This site is a hike to get up to, too. You have to, if you're in a kayak or something, you have to dock down at the bottom, hike all your stuff up here. The one thing that is a constant at every backcountry campsite are food storage cables. The system of cables and pulleys allows campers to safely raise all food and scented items in the air, out of the reach of animals, but mostly bears. The food storage cables at Backcountry Campsite 87 are located at the top of the hill. The island has three distinct camping areas, all with fire pits, but we've only camped at the western side of the island. Despite being an island, Backcountry Campsite 87 has several historical sites nearby for exploring. The abandoned Fontana Copper Mine is almost two miles north and is a great example of Fontana's rich history. And just past the mine is Eagle Creek, the Lakeshore Trail and Backcountry Campsite 90. And Fontana Dam, the largest dam east of the Mississippi River, is just a mile west of Campsite 87. Before it was temporarily closed for fire damage, Backcountry Campsite 87 was probably one of the most popular campsites in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And hopefully, it can reopen soon. Ah, that's good.